70 local veterans, most of whom fought in Korea, are back home tonight after their own emotional trip to Washington, D.C. This was the 32nd honor flight of Southern Arizona and landed back in Tucson today after spending three days in our nation's capital and its war memorials for visitations. 13 News reporter Emily Miranda is live at El Presidio Plaza in downtown in front of a local memorial honoring veterans. And Emily, you were there to greet the flight when it landed earlier tonight. What did those veterans have to say? Dan, the 70 veterans on that flight were in for a welcome home surprise when they walked off the plane. Many of the veterans I spoke to say they were extremely grateful for the opportunity to visit the memorials that were built in dedication to their service. It was really fantastic. Three days of overwhelming emotion and sightseeing, and you can see how grateful they are. Nearly 200 people came out to TIA to welcome home Flight 32, a welcome many of the veterans were grateful to receive. Oh, our trip was fantastic. I loved all those monuments and I loved all the people that I was with and the treatment that I got. And best of all, we never had a parade when we got back from Vietnam, but here it is. We got it. Yeah. This flight was made up of 50 Vietnam, 14 Korean, and two World War II veterans. 90-year-old Ray Groves and 100-year-old David Mark were both happy to finally see their memorial. We come through one time when they were building it, but we never seen it finished. That was a very nice, very good sight for me. Yes, it was. Yeah. Mark was also grateful to experience this trip with his fellow veterans. Oh, it's terrific with the other veterans. Everybody's just, you know, associated and helped everybody, helped each other as much as we could. You no, know, it was wonderful seeing a, a lot of the other veterans, most of them not quite as old as I am. And while all were glad to see their memorials, they were also thankful for the new friends made. Very friendly trip, and we met some good friends like we did when I was in the service back in 1969. Now it happened again, and it's a good feeling, and I met a lot of good people, and I hope it happens again. If you are or know of a World War II, Korean, or Vietnam veteran that would be interested in taking part of an Honor Flight, you can visit the Honor Flight Southern Arizona website for more information. We will have a link on our website. Reporting from El Presidio Plaza, Emily Miranda, 13 News.